25th of April today and it's one day without shoes. Today is the day that tomorrow today and Digit Lab are going to be going to work without shoes on. We're going to try and see what it's like to just experience a day without shoes, without the warmth around our feet. And today we're really going to feel it because it happens to be one of the coldest days in Durban in KZN in South Africa. We hope that this experience is one that we will learn what it means, what it feels like, but at the same time we're hoping that we will be able to get as much uh, awareness around this in our area as possible. So we've emailed all our friends, we've put it up on Facebook, we're doing what we can, we're going to be vlogging about our experiences. And, um, well, to be honest, in about two hours I'm giving a presentation to a group of people, so that would be interesting. Anyway, we'll keep you up to date. Cheers. So we've just wrapped up with the NetBank uh, presentation with the project manager of South Africa. It was a very interesting experience. We got all the shoes or people and we did a quick punt on uh, one day without shoes. It was a really great one. We had a good, good time, good fun, good laughs. But to be honest, some people are looking at us really strangely right now as we stand here without our shoes on. And it's raining, it's a bit cold, so I'm going to jump in my car and get warm again. Cheers. Just got back from the presentation that I was at. And on the drive up, I was able to, to have some time just to reflect on what one day's without shoes has meant to me so far. It's only 11 o'clock in the morning, but I wanted to take a chance just to share something that, got, that, that hit me quite hard on the drive up. This day without shoes has been an interesting experience for me. It's been, a, it's been interesting because it's forced me to do something which is out of the norm for me. What, what I realized though was when I left the conference, my feet were cold. And then I jumped in a car and I was able to warm my feet up. And when my feet are cold, I get very cold and I get very grumpy because of it. But I was able to, to get into the car, or turn the heaters on and let that disappear. But the people who don't have shoes, the people that this is all about, they don't have the luxury of jumping in a car. They don't have the luxury of warming their feet up. They don't have the luxury. I mean, I, I drove here. Most people would have to walk here. Their feet would be terrible by the time they got here. So, what I guess what I'm trying to say is, is that so far this experience has taught me that I'm even more privileged than I thought I could be. In fact, for me to actually experience one day without shoes the way that these people, this, this entire generation of people who suffer because they don't have shoes on their feet, for me to actually experience a day like that would be very difficult because just my general lifestyle, just my general life is way more privileged than I could have imagined. So I've just reached the end of one day without shoes. It's been an incredible experience, but the one thing that's been really great is to see such a simple solution to such a complex problem. So well done to Tom Shoes for everything that you've been doing, for the great work that you're doing. And we just wish you all the success with this venture and you can count on the fact that we're going to be here next year with One Day Without Shoes again.